Lisa Sabatini here with Brian Simmons, the CEO of Grappler's Quest. Hi, Brian. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. So this is the, uh, the first time you guys are in Boston? It's the first time in Boston, first time in Massachusetts, only our second time ever in New England. So it's a huge show. The guys, the New England grapplers are the best. I mean, they're in droves. They're here. They pre-registered, and we have a phenomenal turnout for this weekend. Very excited. Tell me a little bit about the relationship between Grappler's Quest and the UFC Fan Expo. Uh, Grappler's Quest has been running the grappling tournaments inside the UFC Fan Expo since inception. Uh, this is our third show. Um, we, you know, they're amazingly supportive of grappling itself. Uh, it's part of the mixed martial arts, and they know that a lot of their great champions started at Grappler's Quest. Can you tell me a little bit about the, the super fights? Ooh, that's a good one. The super fights are going to be huge. Um, super fights are basically the best of the best, uh, sometimes multiple weight classes challenging each other, similar to like what would be an MMA like George St. Pierre versus Anderson Silva. The best of the best, world champions, alt, uh, different types of organizations, we bring them all together for an ultimate showdown to find out who's the best grappler. We have uh, Hermes Franca, UFC veteran, he's facing off against 24-time Grappler's Quest champion Ryan Hall, uh, ranked third in the world, and uh, female super fight. We're one of the first one, or first organization in the world to do professional women's fights. I'm very proud of that. I have a daughter too, so hopefully one day she has a, she wants to grapple for money. She can. Um, but the uh, Penny Thomas, defending uh, world champion, is facing off against Tracy Goodell, who is um, this year she won three major uh, world and Pan American titles. She's phenomenal. She's like superstar. Went from blue to brown belt in one year. It's it's a warrior spirit. And when they come up here, warrior spirits want glory. They want to be recognized for what they achieved that day. And that's what we're trying to provide them. That's why we have this beautiful stage and all the lights and everything around here. So, MMA being in, in Ontario is huge. It's huge. I think, I think the UFC is going to be blown away at the support of Toronto, uh, the Ontario province. It's phenomenal. I mean, the, even regular grappling tournaments have, you know, 1,500, 2,000 people at them. Anytime UFC moves into town, it's MMA town. And they make it, they, first of all, they're so embracing to other countries. And I think, you know, I, I'm excited that MMA is going to be in Ontario because I'm going to be there live for sure because that's going to be the most ridiculous crowd ever. So they're going to be out of their mind. Can't wait. Lisa Sabatini at Grappler's Quest, Boston.